It's now time for another hit or miss. Welcome to a brand spanking new edition of Hit or Miss, where I review your next gaming purchase so you don't have to. First on the docket is a game only for those with imagination. I mean, you can play without one, but it's not nearly as fun, I'd imagine. There's a pun intended there. I'm talking about Scribble Knots Unlimited, which dropped on February 15th for the PC, Wii U, and 3DS. Have you never heard of Scribble Knots? Basically, you can type in whatever you want to accomplish your goal. Is there a wall in your way? You can scribble in helicopter on your level and skip right over it. Maybe you're in trouble with the police. Summon the mighty Cthulhu. Slay all things. This next installment continues this exact same trend, adding a storyline and explorable levels. It's all just icing on a creative cake that offers you the chance for some unconventional victory. In case it wasn't blatantly obvious, we have our first. <laughs> Oh, right. oh, that's a hit, baby! Now that we're done talking about a game your grandma could learn to love, let's discuss Crisis 3. Wait, sandbox shooter? A shooter? In a sandbox? The game centers around Prophet, who visits New York and finds it encased in a biodome that's turned the whole thing into the primary setting of Madagascar, but without the charming talking animals. While the multiplayer in this one is tons of fun, there's always an issue. The opinion of many toward Crytek is they spent way too much time focusing on the technology backing the game instead of paying more attention to the game itself. Five hours of gameplay on single player. Don't get me wrong, it'll probably be a cool five hours. This hit. released on PC, PS3, and 360, February 19th. Lastly, a game that got released late January for the PS3, Nino Kuni Wrath of the White Witch. Never heard of it? In this game, you play a boy on a quest to save his mom. You're joined by a few companions along the way and have the ability to tame monsters that you fight in a format not unlike the original Digimon game. The fights are kinda real time, but there are some pause elements so you can select maneuvers like you can do in Dragon Age. This one immerses you in a storyline and an art form that would suit a 10 year old just fine, but gamers who still inadvertently dry hump a stuffed Charmander doll at night will get a kick out of this. Drawbacks, however, include abysmal AI pathing and the semi-irregular ability to save. If you can get over those humps, give it a try. This one is a Hooray! I'm useful! Hit. That's all for this edition of Hit or Miss. Tune in next time where I'll try to find something awful. Variety is the spice of life, after all.